Hello everyone, Arbitrations is a game mode that can be extremely profitable, either endo or platinum wise, if you know how to do it correctly. In today's video, I will be showing you how to maximize your efficiency for as much gains in Arbitrations as possible. First of all, the main topic, I'll be showing of course how to actually unlock Arbitrations, where to get the rewards, and then second, we're going to be showing you where and which game mode you should actually play. Third of all, we're of course going to be covering the actual warframes and weapons you should use and then fourth one is going to be just random tips and tricks and facts about arbitrations so without any further delay and maximizing the efficiency of this video let's get straight into it now arbitrations is a game mode that is unlocked by completing the base star chart and you will unlock steel path alongside this but that is a topic for another video so where do you get the arbitration rewards go to any relay on the star chart go to arbiters of hexes and then arbitration owners here my honest recommendation is going to be galvanized mods with this you can make a hefty amount of platinum especially when you know how to make vital essence which you will by the end of this video so keep on watching and of course you can purchase santan sculptures but honestly wouldn't recommend them for the price but nonetheless second of all game modes so what kind of game modes do we have here first of all arbitration does have a random warframe and weapon buffs it depends it's solely random as i said and it's on a on one hour rotation now game modes defense excavation interception survival and of course we have disruption now to first of all one thing that i want to say right off the bat interception or sorry not interception but defense and also disruption are the ones to play if you want the maximum amount of endo but honestly if you're farming endo the best one is going to be going on arena but nonetheless because defense and disruption can be speeded up by you and your efficiency on how fast you actually play and what warframes you use. In defense's case, Speed Nova, of course we all know that. If you're focusing on Vitus Essence and Platinum making, then Interception and Survival are the game modes for you and with these, these are going to be the main topic of today's video. So let's get into i guess that topic what warframes should you use inside of survival and interception now the fourth warframe can be totally random i see some people using slow nova because interception is going to be sort of the main point of today's video um some people use slow nova i've honestly seen some people just pick random warframes uh, because first of all the three warframes that we have Seren, a vault and wisp are going to be our buffing warframes because you're not going to be playing this for, for hours and hours on end, you, there's no Steel Path version of Arbitrations, you do not need more than 3 buffing frames. There is absolutely no point, you're going to be doing incredible amounts of damage anyway, and in my opinion there is no point. Comment section, correct me. Of course, I'm probably wrong, but correct me in the comment section below. So, Saren, my personal pick if I'm playing even solo and or with a full squad. Now. Of course, for the aura, for that extra survivability, we have Brief Respite, Rolling Guard. For Power Strength, Augur Secrets, Overall Intensify, then Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude. For, of course, Duration, we have Prime Continuity, and we also have Molt Efficiency and Molt Augment for extra Power Strength, and then Contagion Cloud. This is a Toxic Lash Augment, which basically creates a 5 meter Toxic Cloud, dealing 300 Toxin Damage per second for 12 seconds with every kill. And damage is quite strong on melee weapons. And also we have Venom Dose, of course, an augment ability for our first, of course, ability, holding this down, and allies within 50 meters will get an additional 100% corrosive damage buff on their attacks for 40 seconds. Honestly, uh, my first ability is also subsumed for infested munitions, which I'll explain in a little bit later on. Honestly, this is an extremely good build if even, as I said, even if you're playing solo or with a full squad. The Toxic Clouds really do kill the Arbitration Drones incredibly easy, which are, of course, your main source of Vitus Essence. And, of course, the weapon that we're going to be using, the two ones that I recommend, are extremely good at killing them nonetheless. Saren is my top pick. As I said, we have, of course, Volt. Volt Auto also buff your team. Uh, power Donation is the aura, donating your team, you know, extra 30% power strength, always good. Power Drift for, of course, strength, Augur Secrets, Blind Rage, and Umbral Intensify for duration, Prime Continuity, Constitution, Narrow Minded, really, really good. We have Stretch, and we also have a Shock Trooper. Holding down your first ability will give you electricity damage, and your team within 15 meters for 40 seconds. 
honestly really good and again fourth ability infested munitions and molt efficiency and augmented honestly this is just going to be really good at buffing as well and plus vault shields are really really nice at buffing your damage as well and the third but certainly not least warframe especially in some department is gonna be wisp now Keep this in mind, my Wisp is pretty doo-doo. I didn't really level up Wisp and I didn't really put a lot of form on her because Wisp Prime is going to be coming out anyway. Might as well, you know, wait for her. So Aura is going to be Corrosive Projection, but Growing Power is going to be the better option. Uh, Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, Umbral Intensify, Umbral Vitality, Power Drift, Augur Secrets, Stretch, and also Continuity, just maxing out that power strength as much health as much possible fire rate and attack speed as you possibly can multi augmented and efficiency as well and of course empowered on our third of course ability subsumed through the helmet system this is extremely nice giving you 50 percent extra power strength and also keep in mind this all depends on your archon shards you may have less than i do because on my vault and my seren i have archon shards and you might get even more if you have more archon shards so that is all up to you of course a must have pet a must have pet is of course gonna be the smita kavot this is extremely good because of the charm buff and of course giving you double resources so instead of for example with the resource doubler you're not gonna get two you're gonna get four vite assassins i at the end of this interception run that you're seeing uh probably a little bit later on i got 23 in around two runs that's extremely nice for the mods we have tech enhance charm tech assault link health animal instinct medipetre sid fiber length armor and of course fetch for that extra grab range now to the best of my knowledge it takes three or four minutes for the actual arbitrations or i guess sorry by the essence to actually disappear same as with steel essence i could be wrong i probably corrected myself in post edit but you can wait until your smita cover chop buff, buff uh, prox i can't apparently speak uh, but honestly i don't wait for it because i mean listen over a certain time yes it's gonna matter but other than that no not really uh, a little bit of a tip for players that are playing defense uh focus school focus school honestly vazarin with the protective sling is really really good this will heal the actual target because your defense target is not a stationary target this will be uh really really good because it will uh, basically grant it immunity for a couple of seconds and also heal it over time this is I guess my personal pick for, for defense missions, but I honestly don't do it. So, weapons. The best weapon, in my opinion, for this a game mode for interception and survival is going to be the Kuva Ogres. Kuva Ogres has basically uh, really, really good crowd controlling, especially with Saren, Volt, and, and everything that I mentioned. Uh, the base element can be fire and or toxin, depending on what you actually want, because you're still going to have both, so it's honestly your opinion. Uh, we have Galvanized Chamber, Prime Shred, Heavy Caliber, Vigilante Armaments, we have Hellfire, Malignant Force, Rhyme Rounds, and then Vigilante Supplies, Primary Merciless, and then the most important mod, Night Watch Napalm. This basically makes your rocket disperse, inflicting 30% damage over 6 seconds across 90% of the explosion area. This weapon is so, so good at crowd controlling and keeping a certain point, it is incredibly good. Another weapon, of course, the Ignis Wraith build on screen right now, you just don't have to aim. Just to basically look hold on your left click in the general direction of the drone and it's dead it just doesn't matter it's dead so that is also another cool weapon melee and secondary it's all up to personal preference honestly you're not going to be using your melee that much because the arbitration drones keep the certain targets in its vicinity protected anyway and the secondary i guess i use the spore lancer but you can use the latum or maybe another melee uh, secondary that you actually want so Let's move on to the actual, I guess, nitty gritty of everything. First of all, Korra and of course uh, Necros, I think their Desecrate and of course Strangle though, do not work on the uh, arbitration drones themselves. I'm 99% sure that someone in the comments is going to say I'm wrong probably, but I'm waiting for it anyway. So I would love to hear that. But how are you going to play Interception? Now, if you have a Slow Nova, it is going to be really, really good. Uh, it is actually going to be, I think, quite nice to actually have a Slow Nova, focusing on, of course, Nova of power strength if you want to be slowing down enemies. 
you might actually even leave a build up upon right now. So, interception. You're playing interception. What is the main point? Now, I played with randoms here, so it was a little bit difficult to try to coordinate myself because I, I don't have friends, honestly. So, it's kind of quite difficult to find a full squad. And nonetheless, what is the main point? Capture three, neutralize one. Keep one white, the other three are gonna be blue. Then, what happens here is you basically sort of delay the inevitable because you're gonna win anyway, but you're only winning by one point, which basically makes it as long as you possibly can to make it prolonged as, as long as you can to get as many Vitus, Essence, and of course, Jones as possible. Five can only spawn at a certain time, so keep that in mind. And of course, because you're not moving around anywhere, you're basically staying in the same spot, they are gonna be spawning pretty regularly and are going to be spawning in the same spots. Now, as I said, in two runs, I was able to gain 23 Vita Essence with a double booster. A resource chance booster and a blessing from a relay can be really, really beneficial. Extremely beneficial because you're going to be getting even more Vita Essence. Keep in mind, you might get less than me, you can get more than me. It is all luck based in Warframe because I see people saying, oh my god, I only got three in two. 20 hours, incredible line YouTuber. I mean, it's all luck based. If you only got 3 in 20 hours, that's, you know, it's really bad luck, I guess. So, that's basically it. Buff your team with your Warframe. So, with Volt, to buff your team with, of course, Saren, Wisp, put down your moats all over the place so you can defend the actual, I guess, targets. Putting down the electrical moat can be pretty good as well, but if you're all running Ogres with infested munitions, you shouldn't really have to worry or in this Wraith or a really good AoE weapon. Uh, that can be pretty nice. And basically, that is it. Slow Nova can, as I said, slow down enemies. Uh, I will leave it on the screen right now, but because I'm 99% sure it actually works on the arbitration drones. But, you know, again, you can correct me down in the comment section below if I didn't correct myself. But that is the main gist of it. And honestly, with you know, each galvanized model costing 20, what's it called, white assassins, you can make a lot of platinum. Uh, I think in one day, I grinded out for one hour of playing Interception. Uh, that was actually the time that I played solo because it actually went pretty well. I was able to get around, I think it was 70 or 80, somewhere around that number, which is pretty good. And that's 15 platinum uh, for 20 Vita Assassins. Pretty goddamn good. So this has been it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys did because I've been recording this for like the past hour. And, you know, leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more. I try to help out as many players as I possibly can. And I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.